Hello everyone, I'm gonna go over the blog site template for you. So this is gonna show you what the out of the box uh, look and feel of the blog site template would be. If we go to our site contents and uh, click on new sub site, then we have to make a title. So template site one. And then we're gonna just do TS. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, choose the blog site. So uh, blog site, is a site for posting um, articles and expertise and uh, you can uh, comment and uh, talk to other uh, your uh, colleagues or your other employees so um, it's easier if I just show you uh, what it is so click on the block site and then uh, we want the permissions and the uh, navigation here so display the site on quick launch to the parent site would this site would show up on the parent site and then display this site on the top link bar of the parent site so it would show up on the top link bar that so this is the top link bar it would show up here and then use the top link bar from the parent site so if your parent site has all links on the top link bar it would also show up on this new template site that we have so it depends on your business requirements or procedure if you want to have all those sites showing or not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this as uh, it is and create our block site So here's our blog site. So it says, uh, welcome to my blog. Uh, this is where I'll be sharing my thoughts on topics that matter to me, who knows. I might even share pictures, videos, and links to other interesting stuff. If I catch your interest here, or let me hear from you. So here we have creating the post, uh, managing posts, uh, managing comments, managing <laughs> categories, uh, launch uh, blogging apps. Then we have our uh, layouts for uh, changing a post layout so we have box door it'll show you the box layout uh, we have inline so this is the inline inline layout the basic layout is the default layout here this is where you'll have like a picture of yourself or something that you want here uh, depending on what kind of um, page you make or if you add in a uh, list or library or dashboard then you can have different pictures and whatnot here's your rss feed and uh, here's the alert me would you can get an uh, email or text message or uh, whatever you prefer. So here's the alert type post. This is uh, who it goes to. This is the email uh, notification or text message. This is all the um, change types. So when you get your alerts, when new items are added, existing um, items are modified, items are deleted. And this is uh, when they're changed. So if somebody else changes them or if it's created by you. So there are specific alerts that you can get. You can get it uh, immediately or daily or weekly. You can even set up the time for when the alerts would come in. So here we have our um, links on the side. So we have events here. So this is where all your events would go. Here's where all your ideas go, uh, opinions, and you can add categories that you want to too. For example, uh, thoughts. So if I click save, then here dots um, uh, category then you have your archives for June posts or older posts so this is a pretty uh, <clears throat> basic uh, generic uh, blogging site I mean it does a lot for you out of the box but you can customize to what you want to so if you want to edit your page you can edit your page to show what you want to you can um, <clears throat> excuse me you can add a web part or app part images text uh, video and audio here too and then um, we're gonna go ahead and just stop editing then you have all your site settings and content you can change the look if you want to to uh, specific templates if let's say that uh, this one looks more like a blogging site um, it's very calm so you can select the the uh, font type uh, and you can select the site layout so here's Seattle and here's Oslo so let's see, Seattle looks better. You could even change the colors to different type if you want to. We're gonna leave it like it is, because I, I do like it. So you can even try out to see how does it look on your new site. So this is working on it and uh, 
Usually, I prefer if you make your own custom site, but if you're making lots of these sites and um, depending on your business requirement, uh, it's probably better to keep everything the same. But if you're imaginative and you're, you like the design and you want to create new, or basically creative sites, then you can do that and you can use the templates that they have available to you. So this is what it would look like and yeah, I'm going to keep it. So here is my new site so if I go back to home here's my template site one and this is what it would look like now so it looks very nice and I didn't have to go in and write any code or anything to make this uh, blocking site it's just uh, made for me thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, look forward to other tutorials from me